Okay folks, hi, this is Mike from Sacred Customs Knives. And what I wanted to show you today is um, my leather dyeing technique because I think it's pretty abnormal. Um, so when I'm doing um, multiple um, sheaths, uh, I was trying to figure out a way that I can dye more things faster and using a little cotton swab and sticking it in the leather dye and rubbing it on and all that um, seemed pretty, I don't know, time consuming and primitive. Um, I happen to have a bunch of this um, MX reactive dye um, that I used for dyeing uh, verniers and stuff like that and so anyway that's in case you're wondering MX re uh, reactive dye from Procyon um, and I mix it up in water a large batch of it and what's cool about the reactive dye is theoretically the way it's supposed to work is it actually changes the color of the natural fibers whatever you're dying and so instead of uh, just drowning this thing in pigments and um, and eventually the pigments kind of lodging themselves in the in the in the leather itself um, I'm actually changing the color of the leather um, and uh, I tested a few times it seems to work really well so I wanted to show you how I do that and so I used various different colors to mix up the, the color that I want. It's going for a darker red brown kind of rustic look. I have here three sheaths that I made. Um, and I'm going to show you how I get this done. So, boom, sheath, dye, stick it in there. And what's cool about this is I can completely finish the sheath 100%. And then just stick it in the dye and boom it's done. Um, some of the goop up just kind of chunks up a little bit sometimes. Um, anyway, boom. And it soaks into every nook and cranny and gets extremely even. Instead of trying to paint it on evenly, it's automatically even and it goes deep. Um, I dyed one. And then afterwards, I um, sanded the edges down, and no matter how deep I sanded, uh, it was still the same color, which I find really cool. So it's not just a, a surface thing. Um, so anything, any part that you can see, any part, period, even the parts you can't see, they are dyed. Um, Go ahead and rinse off the extra. And you see it's still quite dark. This little black spot is from a chunk of dye that wasn't quite mixed in properly, but whatever. It's there. Soak it a little bit longer, it gets a little bit darker, but not a whole lot, pretty much. Uh, after the first 10-15 seconds in the dye, you, that's what you're going to get. It's quick, fast, and it stays. As you see, I rinsed it off and it's still bone dark. So the next one, non-dye, in the dye, five seconds, out, it's dyed, and it's even. And looks good. And these guys make pretty much any color you can ask for and you can uh, mix them together and create your own colors. It's, it's pretty great stuff. I really like this and I find it easier to work with and, and less annoying and messy as, as uh, using leather dyes. I'm sure this would work just fine if you had just a huge bucket of leather dye as well but um, that's expensive 
And this die is actually considerably cheaper. It's really well priced. Extremely well priced. So that's two, and boom, number three, and the die. There it is. Three sheets completed. I don't know how many seconds. Fantastic stuff. I find this works really well, and I hope this helps you. And you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah. That one's a little bit lighter. Let me go in there again. Maybe I can get it a smidge darker. Maybe. I might come back later and stick them in again and see if it makes any difference um, on the darkness. Seems to not to make a whole lot of difference how long you hold it in, but maybe it does. Like I said, still a relatively new technique that I'm still testing, but so far, extremely happy. Yeah, it did get considerably darker that second time, so there you go. It does make a difference. Thanks for watching.